Welcome to the Drum Dums review of Crimson Peak. And I will be your host. Your ghost host. Crimson Peak stars Mia Wasikowska, Jessica Chastain, Tom Hiddleston, and is directed by Guillermo del Toro. So in Crimson Peak, Mia Wasikowska, her father is a wealthy man, and along come this brother and sister, Lucille and Thomas, played by Jessica Chastain and Tom Hiddleston. And Thomas is an engineer, and he is trying to kind of make his way in this new town, and he starts courting Mia. And Mia's father doesn't really trust him, and we as an audience don't really trust him and his sister either, because they kind of show up out of nowhere, and they have this kind of eerie vibe to them. Uh, they're just creepy, especially Lucille played flawlessly by Jessica Chastain. And throughout the movie, Lucille, she doesn't really like Mia, and there's this constant push and pull between her and Mia and her brother. And you know that this is probably not going to end well. And what I really like about this movie, without giving anything away, is the final act. The third act is really interesting, and it gets pretty crazy. I don't want to give away anything, but I, let me just say... It's a good, spooky horror movie. And I love those big haunted mansion type horror movies. And this one really feels like that. It feels spooky all the way through. Every few years, my family and I, we would go to Walt Disney World and we would visit the haunted mansion every time because the haunted mansion is just so cool and creepy and eerie. And it's got that evil voice uh, throughout. And this movie really reminded me of that. It, it reminded me of just kind of sitting back and watching a spooky ghost story, old-fashioned ghost story, and it's just a lot of fun. I also like that it's set in the 1800s. It's a period piece, and I actually enjoy period pieces, especially like Bram Stoker's Dracula, uh, directed by Francis Ford Coppola. That is one of my favorite horror period pieces. Is this one as good as that one? No, but it is still fun. Also, I really love the way the ghosts are portrayed in this movie. They just look awesome. They look creepy. Guillermo del Toro has such a signature style to his directing, especially in the way that he handles uh, violence in his movies. It almost kind of reminds me of Cronenberg a little bit, where the violence seems very real, and he'll show scenes of violence that you don't normally see in other movies. If you've seen Pan's Labyrinth, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. A lot of it just hits you right over the head. And also, this movie is really just bathed in atmosphere. It's a, it is a great movie for October. And every scene really feels like a million bucks. Now, Crimson Peak does have a few problems. It does take a long time, at least in my opinion, to really get going. And I know why they're doing it, because they're setting up the characters and everything, but I feel like they didn't have to take that long. And there were times in the movie where I felt like, okay, let's, let's get this thing going. I did get bored. And also, I, I did say the movie is spooky, but I, I think there's a difference between spooky and scary. And it's not scary at all. It does have some really cool spooky scenes. And like I said, that third act is really good. It gets back up on its feet, and you end up having a great time with the movie. Overall, I'm going to give Crimson Peak a high humdrum. I can't quite get it to purchase worthy because I don't think that I will buy it. But who knows, maybe I'll change my mind in the future after it sets a while because I just got through watching it. So anyway, what did you guys think of Crips and Peak? Looking forward to hearing your thoughts. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and drum down out.